we're going to go through today is the installation of a split unit. So we're looking at a wall mounted unit with an outdoor unit. We're going to guide you through the whole of the installation process. Right from the beginnings of where we're going to put it, why we're putting it where we're putting it, to actually getting the pipe work all fitted, installed, all the way through to actually getting the actual unit tested and commissioned. So join us on this journey. Have a look at the area you're going to place the actual indoor unit, kind of wiring, and also whereabouts you're actually going to place the outdoor unit itself, as well as drainage and electrics. A little double check of the distribution board just to make sure we've got the correct amount of current is required. Comparing those indoor units, the preference here for not actually using those flare connections, but actually cutting them off, and we're going to braze them instead. Preparing to do some brazing work, so make sure we've got some nitrogen to hand so we can do a bit of a nitrogen purge before carrying out that brazing. It stops that possibility of that carbon build within that pipe work, which will eventually end up in the actual compressor. And whilst you've got the covers off, you could, if you wanted to, start preparing the electrics beforehand. It just makes it a bit easier when you come to put everything through the actual hole if you've got the cabling and the wiring all together. Preparing the area before carrying out the install just makes it going to be nice and clean, safe and tidy. Always makes it life a little bit easier. So mark up where you can put the indoor unit, taking into account for space requirements around the indoor and making sure it's obviously mounted level because it's going to help with the condensate. The team for this install have decided to use trunking just to make that pipe work and wiring just a little bit more tidy. Preparing that pipe work ready to go onto the actual outdoor unit. So obviously cutting that pipe work to length. And then we're going to flare those connections and then we're going to make that connection onto the outdoor unit, making sure it's nice and safe and secure.
when it comes to doing pressure testing, we're going to take that pressure up in stages, say about three bar at a time, take it up to a tightness test. Then we're going to take up for a strength test, don't need to hold it there for long, just make sure that pie works all good and sound. And then we're going to drop back down to our tightness test, take a note of the temperature and time, because we know that temperature and pressure are related. And depending on how convoluted the system as to how long we're actually going to hold this pressure test for. This is quite a short pipe run, so it's not going to be that long. Place the system on vacuum and take it down to 5 tall. Install an isolator that's obviously weatherproof and within an arm's length of the actual unit for safety purposes. Connect up power to the outdoor unit and run the interconnecting cable S1, S2, S3 and Earth from the outdoor to the indoor. Once you're happy with that pressure rise, obviously remove the vacuum pump and then we're going to open up those valves and let the refrigerant through. Power up the system and test it in cooling and in heating. And the all important handover explain how the unit works and how the controller works. <laughs> 